Right, Mike. Do you see them two over there? We need to go ahead with the plan. As follows, are you with me? Okay, k kinda creepy, but it's enough to go on. Right, we need to successfully pull from our magic pool to achieve next level illusion, where we will then go on to use Muffle, a particular spell crafted for the arts of sneaking and thieving. Then we achieve Kim by taking off our pants and... Uh, wait, <laughs> why is he in his underwear? Wait, that's not underwear, that's a loincloth. Oh, the Thalmor hate loincloths, oh no. My... Welcome, my Elder Scrolls loving, Mike loincloth adoring, Thalmor slain, mountain climbing, Todd Howard swindling friends, to another Elder Scrolls video. I am your host, the Riverwood Chicken. Please, don't hurt me again. And today we are going to be discussing an epic topic for epic gamers who, like me, enjoy learning about all things Elder Scrolls related. And I know it's been a hot minute since I made one of these with the ongoing Let's Plays. One of them, anyway. But now is the time to enjoy the good weather we are getting, the summer vibes that we be vibing, and just knowing that you can all sit down during your day and watch this video to a cup of tea or something and smile. I like thinking that. Today's topic is one I really want to discuss, something that delves a bit deeper into the racial factors of the Elder Scrolls universe, and that is to decide on what the best elven race in Skyrim is. This will be from two points of view. One is the lore aspect to an extent, just for some fun, but you will be coming out of this hopefully agreeing with what I think is the absolute best race to play in this game. Now, like always, people will fill my comment section by saying, Murder, it's obviously Wood Elf, but I mean, it's my video, also I like to analyse things. Isn't that the point of a subject? You know, to analyse more than a simple word? Either way, shut up and enjoy, you feckers. Also, leave a like because you love to see videos like these, and super duper is the word I would use in terms of motivating me to make more. Also, hit the bell icon to get notified of all future videos coming out. I do hope you enjoy. So the races we are looking at today consist of the Dunmer, the Altmer, the Bosmer, and the Orsimer who are still elves. Remember the humble beginnings of orcs, my friends. Every orc life matters. Hashtag dab to stab. Am I right, fellow dead jokes? These are the four mare races you can play in Skyrim, and while it's entirely up to you how you go around playing them, however, each of them have their own strengths and weaknesses, attributes that you should take into consideration when deciding who the hell you want to play next in this godforsaken world. We are going to go off of stereotypes here, ones that absolutely exist in the known Tamriel world due to the set cultures and ways of life they all live. Bosmer are typically known to be great at archery, it's a common practice in their homeland. A country filled with trees as high as the eye can see, allowing them to climb, jump and maneuver like literal ninjas. Skyrim does not do these boys justice at all. Also did I mention they are cannibals? They are great at light activities like archery, sneak, lockpicking, pickpocketing and donning light armour. These are all the primary skills of the Bosmer in the game great ones. Altmer come from their homeland of Somerset Isles, a place we've been able to visit in the Elder Scrolls Online, a place that captures sunlight and uses magic to make everyday life simpler. All the major skills of an Altmer are in the magic categories, since magic is something that just seems to stick to them. The Dunmer, as hard as life has been for them, have been given the opportunity to rise above and specialize in their crafts as people who enjoy using a bit of alchemy here and there. Some alteration, light armor, sneak, and well, they just seem to be more suited to the jack of all trades. Then the Orsimer, well, I mean, they they suck. Yeah, I mean, they can only master the warrior class being capable of crushing skulls with warhammers and forging the greatest steel armor Tamriel has ever seen. These are small summaries of the different races, but as you can see, they're all great races. They all have strengths and weaknesses, skills that allow you to craft a more suitable character. You wouldn't play a mage Khajiit, and yes, I'm looking at you, Jazarga, you piece of sh**. Powers are something that each individual race comes with, things that make them unique and will help forge a player's opinion in playing them. Some are good, and some are just downright suited for the lowest of n -was. Yes, I'm talking to you, Random Viewer 69, don't you backtalk me. Altmer have Highborn, it allows them to call upon their inner magic powers to quickly regenerate magicka faster for 60 seconds. A very good daily power when caught up in a tough fight, you encounter in some hard dungeon you find out in the middle of Whiterun. The Bosmer allow you to control an animal once per day, they live in the woodlands, they were raised in the woodlands. Woodlands, so why not be able to cam and treat a fellow woodland animal with some respect and love? The Dunmer have the ability to resist fire due to their history with Azura, and as well as this they can call upon the ancestor's wrath to surround themselves in fire and when in the middle of battle improve DPS damage. Last but not least, the Orsimer have the ability to use Berserker's Rage and tap into their inner powers of rage to take half damage and deal double damage for 60 seconds. A very, very good daily power that will help prove to be very useful to warriors everywhere. While all these powers sound great and having a wee look at all the major and minor skills, I've come to the conclusion that both the Altmer and Orsimer are the two I will choose from. 
I mean, an orc warrior will help you in all difficulties. That's just a fact. Berserker's rage mixed with the advantage in heavy armor and all weapon skills will allow you to get in close and deal lots of damage without taking too much punishment. The Ultimar, however, have the advantage in all magical abilities, allowing them to use all elements, all parts of oblivion, and all ways of defending and conquering their foes. I love both of them, man. They're both excellent races filled with very interesting lore and the ability to forge excellent and powerful characters to get you through your journey. However, I'm going to give it to the High Elves. I mean, other than the fact I love the Altmer lore, magic, their pointy ears, you cannot deny they are broken in the late game. It may suck in early games with having magic as your main thing in Legendary, but I mean, I've played Legendary enough at this point to tell you that once you level your Conjuration, Illusion, or Enchanting up, you will never, ever take damage again, as long as you are careful. Also, the Altmer are the tallest race in the game, Bethesda ties coding to this by making speed values connect to height values, so please, midgets, cry in pain. But yeah, I mean, I like the Altmer. Anyways, that's it. All I have to say anyway. I do hope you enjoyed. I'm a little rusty in these videos, I think. It was probably okay. Either way, thank you for watching. Leave a like, comment, share, and all that stuff. Consider becoming a member. For as low as $2 a month, or don't. You can watch for free. Either way, you're cool. Kind of. It supports me and lets me do what I love to try and entertain you guys. But I mean, yeah, that's it. See you later.